<laughs> How you guys feeling? Still, yeah? <laughs> First and foremost, it's an honor and privilege to be here with all of the students of Abington. Um, you had a fairy tale year with a lot of work to make it happen. You know there was nothing easy about that season. And you know it wasn't just that season, it was the season before. This goes back to bitty basketball. This goes back to just shooting hoops in your yard with your friends. I mean, this is a, a dream that, I mean, every high school basketball player across our Commonwealth and across our country has. I mean, everybody wants to, I mean, I ran across country many pounds ago, and <laughs> my wife did this, but um, you always wanted to go to states. It was always the, it was the end, that was the part, that was the period as your athletic career in high school. You know, for a lot of you, a lot of you are juniors, you'll have another bite at the apple next year. But this is something that you'll talk to your grandchildren about, your great-grandchildren. This is something that's going to be with you for the rest of your lives. And like I said, it wasn't something like, you know what I mean, if everybody could be a state champ, well, you know what? Everybody be a state champ. It's hard work. It's determination. It's getting up those mornings when you really didn't want to and making it happen. Maybe coming to a practice after maybe the practice was a little hard the day before. You're still a little raw from the hard workout the day before, but you came to practice. Or maybe you felt a little sick, but you wanted to make sure that you got that extra practice in. Well, that all mattered in this season. And you know, I'd like to thank your parents for the great job they did with all of you. You know, because if you don't have a good family structure at home, you know what I mean? You're not going to come in here and play your best. You know, I'm sure your mom makes, I'm not sure, everybody has a favorite that their parents make. Your mom makes probably special spaghetti or special something. You know, special meals that you have the, beforehand. Or that special pair of socks or something that you wear that absolutely you have to wear because it's going to help you to make that shot that you're going to make on the courts. I mean, that's where your parents come in. So I'd like to just applaud your parents for a job well done. Did they get a great job with all of you. But then it comes down to who's going to work with you? Who's going to coach you? Who's the assistant coaches? Who's the person that's going to be determined to make you the best you possibly can be? Who's the person that's going to bring something out of you that you don't even think's inside that's going to draw it out? I mean, that, there's special people that do that. All your assistant coaches and your head coach. You know, your head coach didn't start off being like the most winningest coach. He started off with one win, maybe a loss. But with his determination and hard work, He's able to mold you guys into state champions. And that's not an easy feat for anybody to do. At this time, I'd like to just have Coach Bianchi just come up to say a few brief comments about the season. I said brief because I know that he's already said a lot of things in the last two weeks. But this is a tremendous time for your coach and for the staff and for the student body it really is coach thank you i just like to thank the commissioners also for taking the time out of their schedule to be here and what they said was true i'm sure a lot of these guys since they were seven and eight years old always played games in the backyard who's going to hit the winning shot to win the state championship but you never get there i was one of them I want a lot of them out in the driveway, but never got to play in the big game. It's something that everybody wants, but very few get. And of all the teams that are in the state, there's six divisions. There's only six schools, six boys' schools that ended the season with a win. And our team was one of the six. Um, I know the other teachers, they want to get their students back to class. So maybe we can just go and take the picture and... <laughs> so 
So we have, uh, we have proclamations for the whole team and for the coaching staff. And this is what the proclamation says. Whereas today we celebrate the outstanding success in history making achievement of Abington Heights Comet Boys varsity basketball team winning its school's first PI, PIAA state basketball title. Now think about that. Forever in that trophy case will be a picture of your team with that trophy forever. Whereas Abington Heights coach Ken Bianchi stressed the importance of teamwork and dedication and hard work and led the team to the Comets first division title in 2014. The road to victory includes wins over Dallas in the District 2 Class 5A final, and PIAA 5A first round against Garden, Garden Spot and the close game against Chester. And that, that game against Chester is basically a telling moment in your life. If that went the other way, you wouldn't be sitting here today. An elite eight victories over Northern and a defeat to defeat the District 2 12 champions, Bonner Pendergrast in an overtime and the PIAA 5A semifinals. And finally, defeating the District 7 champion, Mars. Whereas the Abington's 2017 Abington Heights Comet Boys basketball team includes George, Corey, Garrett, Drew, Karis, Jackson, Jack, Trey, James, Harold, Aiden, Alex, and Michael Malone. Whereas the head coach, Kim Bianchi, Aries Winniet's coach at 774 career wins, assisted by coach Jeff McLean and Chris Bianchi, Luke Patterson, Jamie Egan, helped to make the 2017-2018 a memorable season in Abington. We, Patrick O'Malley, Jerry Notariani, Lorraine A. Cummings, commissioners of the county of Lackawanna, do hereby acknowledge and proclaim on behalf of the 214,000 citizens, Abington Heights Boys Bas Vars Varsity Basketball Day in Lackawanna County. Today is your day. And before, before I have the coach bring each one of you up to receive your plaque, I would also like to thank the student body for what they did. You know, cheering and being there and supporting your home team is what it's all about. Thank you for being there and making this dream come true and making them state champions. Coach Bianchi. What do you want to do? Brand, are these in order? Okay, I'll go in order. George Tinsley. George. George. Can't see them. <laughs> Corey Stevens. Sorry, Perkins. Perkins. Corey Perkins. Sometimes you line your arms, right? <laughs> There, plants. <laughs> Drew Nealon.
I was going to say. James, left check. Daryl Johnson. Alex Ferry. Alex, you're not right here? Yeah. And Mike Malone. Where's the coach? I got it. Fran, let's do a picture with all players and we'll let them be called. Sure, okay. What else is here? Yeah. 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 Oh, they're in school. They weren't able to get on the work. And Jeff. Yeah, Jeff, we, we, Jeff would have been easy for us. <laughs> All right, guys, here's the way we're going to set you up. We're going to go on both sides of the podium, okay? So I can get the Abington Heights in the middle. Hey, you know what? I got you. <laughs> you know, you got to go sideways. Oh, what a great year. I would just like to close by saying good luck in the 2018-2019 school year and the basketball season. It's going to be a great year. You've got a lot of young talent here. Good luck. You already know the roadmap to Hershey. Do it again. Good luck. Thank you.